See, chronic undernutrition is just one manifestation of what happens with Adivasis in general, particularly with children who are more vulnerable. Adivasis even have a lower life expectancy than the rest of the population. दाल होता था पहले फिर आजकल तो होता नहीं है कहे कि सीआरपीएफ तरफ उधर जो है कि सीआरपीएफ सब जितना जमीन सब था उसको ही कर लिया फिर आने जाने के लिए जो छोटा सा रास्ता था बैल उल घुसता थी हल चलाने के लिए वो भी उसको भी मतलब बंद कर दिया दिस डिनाइल ऑफ एन एक्सेस टू फॉरेस्ट रिसोर्सेज एंड देन आल्सो अ श्रिंकिंग ऑफ स्पेस दैट दे एक्सपीरियंस बिकॉज़ ऑफ लेट्स डैम्स मिनरल एक्सप्लोटेशन लेट्स इंडस्ट्रीज हैज इंप्लिकेटेड द हेल्थ स्टेटस ऑफ द आदिवासीज दे हैव गॉट इनटू एग्रीकल्चर बट द क्वालिटी ऑफ देयर एग्रीकल्चर इज वेरी पुअर प्लस यू नो दे डोंट हैव गुड फर्टाइल फ्लैट लैंड्स extreme land alienation loss of land has a severe impact on the well-being of the adivasi family their eating is much less while their labor increases enormously tak shaadi ho jati hai bachcho ki hum to chote na mai karde hain 12 baras re sur sanjan mundu pa kulenya सब सफाई रहेंगे वे तो बे के बे गंदी हो जाते हैं बाल बच्चे इतने पानी कानून लागे अब बगल में बोर हुए के नल हुए तो वापस बार बार के भी नहा लिए अब दूर को पानी है साफ सफाई कैसा रहेंगे गवर्नमेंट प्रोग्राम्स दैट इज द आईसीडीएस और हेल्थ और न्यूट्रिशन और फूड सिक्योरिटी डजंट रीच ट्राइबल एरियाज because of absenteeism because of indifference because staff doesn't like to work in tribal areas problem of extremist violence affects only about one third of tribal blocks in central india so two thirds of the area if it is still undeveloped or it is uh, schemes are not reaching there government cannot have the excuse that it's because of uh, violence uh because uh, those areas are still approachable combination of loss of traditional livelihoods their inability to come up with an alternative agriculture based livelihood and thirdly very poor delivery of public services i think these are some you know probably among the key reasons in the sort of mainstream psyche the tribal is a you know somewhat uh, lesser human being to begin with we could implement fra which is a law that the parliament passed in a more honest and you know transparent way then i think also if we implemented issues in you know, around pesa 
the panchayat extension for scheduled areas, uh, which would enable tribal communities to manage their own services, their own anganwadis, their own midday meal programs, and so on and so forth. I think that probably would help. One is the restoration of Adivasi lands and protection of those lands. Two is not just the establishment, but the enforcement of their access and rights to the forest within a complicated network of rights. The Ministry of Tribal Affairs should ensure that the programs such as the ICDS, NRHM, PDS, etc. actually reach tribal areas. There should be monitoring of these programs and the states should be taken to task if they are not posting people or the people are not doing their duty. Tribals in the mainland India, they need to be empowered either in the form of political party or you give a regional council or autonomous council in terms of which, but let's through which they really govern themselves, that will give the voice. The Adivasi voice is pretty much there. Where are the ears of the rest of the country?